So you've made a little scene. You want some cool neon lights. But you don't know how to make them. You've come to the right place, my friend. Let's let's get straight into action, shall we? So you're going to want to go into freaking texture... Uh, uh, so you're going to go on textures.com and then you're going to go... Oh, fuck this. I'm going to... Uh, so you're going to want to go into textures.com, find a sign texture, but make sure there's like, see, uh, don't get don't get a neon one, because it kind of looks good when you have like these scratchy, like, kind of bad backgrounds, like behind the characters. Yeah, also, you have to have an Asian one, like, come on, like, <laughs> it's the best. It just it has that nice aesthetic, it's just something about it, something about freaking Japanese characters, bro. It just gives you that nice cyberpunk feel. Ah. Uh, find like a sign and make sure there's like a difference between the color of like the characters and the color of like the background sign like a good difference because you see some signs like this right like that they, they just you can't do it because there's two similar colors so you want like a pretty f different like difference between the black and whites of like the color I right, just download that and then we'll go into Blender. Hold up. Uh, so add a cube. Size it to like wherever you you'd like. Like, just make it so like it's your choice. I don't really care. Just whatever the size of your sign is, pretty much. Like it doesn't really matter. It's your choice, mate. You this is all up to you to do what you your sign, your special. Sign. Uh, so get out of edit mode once you've got your little sign shape. Just open up. The, oh, just open up this tab. Yeah, there we go. And just add a new new texture. And we'll pop in the little little image texture that we we got last time. We just downloaded at textures dot com. Oh, that's right. Yeah, go. Edit, select A to select all, U, Q project, and then we'll go into UV, UV editing mode. Click this face, wait, let me go into, click this face, and then, like, click whatever face you want to be your sign, and pretty much, wait, i got to drop the mic, um, you pretty much just scale it to how you would, how you please. Beautiful. There you go. Alright, so. Alright, once you got the scale. Oh, my. Oh, no, it's this side. Alright, then one. Alright, go. Add. Color ramp. You know the, you know the gist. Control, shift, shift click. And wait, so black is no omission. So I just realised this should be plugged in the emission shader. My bad. All right, people make mistakes. Calm down. So the black is what's not bright, and I kind of want my background to be bright. So I swap these, and I still want, I still want the scratches and shit, just to make it. Trust it looks so nice, and we'll change the white, change the white to whatever color you'd like your thing to be. Put up the string and wait. Why is it not doing what I want it to do? Oh yeah, it's because. Oh no, yeah, we're not in. Principal shader. There you go. Already we got a nice looking sign. You can pop down the strength or something. Perfect. Just with this little setup, look how easy that was. Just a cube with a little um colour ramp and image texture. And you can kinda like edit this. See how it's all worn out? Oh look at that. Sometimes you just gotta look at that and just appreciate how how fucking how beautiful it is. Changes to white, yeah, no, nah, we already 
I just really, it doesn't really matter. All right. So we're gonna add in to get rid of the sides to like make the sides not look shit. Uh hmm. Ah uh, yeah. Alt click the corner. Plus assign, and then just make it like black or whatever color you want. And also this is just like a rough like. You can put heaps of detail into the sign shape and like textures. This is just a rough idea just to get you. Because I'm not like a, one of those tutorial people that like go through each step. Mate, it's up to you. I'll just give you the idea. You'll be like, oh, thank you, Cruz. You're a very nice guy. And then I'll be like, you're welcome. And then you get to make some C CGI like um scenes. So yeah, this is. Well, you can make it heaps detailed. Like, I'm. Um, I wouldn't make it this, like, blocky and shit in my, like, actual render. Or maybe it would, I don't know. It depends what I'm going for. This, you can probably just assign and go back UV editing and scale it to how you wish again. Uh, just like that. Look at this. You're freaking, this is when all your friends will see you and go, mate, you're an expert at freaking VFX, well not VFX, CGI. And you're about, mate, <laughs> I already know this, alright? You don't need to, you don't need to tell me. And then they'll be like, alright mate, calm down, you're not, like, I'm giving you a compliment. And then you start getting more angry and start like, getting more defensive and then that's when, that's when someone throws hands and, and then you Beautiful, look at that, oh, fucking splendid, beautiful, and now you can make a bunch of these, and like to change the colour you just select the white, make it red, do whatever, and you just place them all around your scene and they'll end up looking so much nicer, here's my end result, beautiful, see, this is why they call me Crew Sanchez, <laughs> alright, so I'll, I'll catch you in the next video. Mate, I appreciate you for watching this. I'm just looking out for you, mate. Please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And um, I'll make a new tutorial because I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying making some tutorials. Even though I've only got like 10 views. Fucking some random guy commenting, trying to scare me. Sending me some link to some sketchy website. But, mate, it just that's the way it goes. That's, that's the way the news goes. I'll catch you later, mate.